My name's Ricky and I'm one of the tour guides for I'm Free Tours in Sydney and uh, usually you'll find me doing uh, the tours around the rocks where I'll take you through the history of how Australia started. But today we're going to try something different. Uh, we're all locked inside the house so I'm going to take you through the suburb that I live in and it's called Cogra. Cogra is approximately 14 kilometres south of the Sydney CBD and only a 10 minute drive from Sydney Kingswood Smith International Airport. It is the centre of the St George area, being home to the St George Hospital, St George Bank and the St George Illawarra Dragons. There are a few more quirks about this suburb, but before I get to them, let's pay respect to the Aboriginal people. The original custodians of this land were the medical people of the Eora Nation, and they lived here during the dream time until the first settlers arrived here. They gave the name Cobra, uh, which actually means a place of dreams. Now right behind me here we have Botany Bay, uh, which was the place where Captain Cook pulled into the shore, looked at it and decided it was a great place for the British colony. And in 1788 the first fleet arrived, uh, but Captain Arthur Phillip realised that uh, Captain Cook had sold him, uh, oversold the land and decided no, they would head across up towards Sydney Harbour or Port Jackson Bay. Regardless though, the Botany Bay was actually the first place that uh, the first settlers first arrived in uh, before they decided that it wasn't the best place for them to live. And right here we've got the bay, we've got the monument of the first fleet and in the distance you'll also see Sydney Airport. Right behind me here we have the famous Cogra Oval which was a home to the St George Illawarra Dragon. It's also known as the Jubilee Stadium because it was built during the Jubilee year of Cogra, its 50th anniversary. It's a multi-purpose stadium used primarily to host the rugby league games, St George Illawarra Dragons. It has also been used for soccer games these days, uh, for the A-League. When St George Dragons dominated the competition by winning a world record 11 successive premierships between 1956 and 1966, the Saints never lost a game at home for a whopping 12 years. Sadly, since the St George Dragons merged with the Illawarra Steelers, we've struggled to attain our former glory, winning only one premiership in 2010. Even as a loyal Red V supporter, I have to admit we are one of the biggest underachievers in the competition. Next up, we've got the Tumavara Chinese Gardens. Believe it or not, these guys are heritage listed. The reason this block of land is heritage listed is because they have been used for continuous market gardening since the 1850s. It resulted in the creation of a landscape that bears evidence of continuous work in the marketing of the changes that have taken place in the market gardening industry at that time. It is of stated significance as it is one of only five surviving market gardens in the Sydney metropolitan region in largely their original form and is still employing traditional cultivation practices. Last but not least, we've got the riveting history of these apartments right behind here. Uh, before they became apartments, uh, they actually housed the Mecca Cinema which actually has a rather interesting backstory. Originally called the Victory Theatre, it was opened in 1920 with a seating capacity of 1800. It had a pipe organ and flourished until the introduction of televisions in the 1950s. It went through several changes as it was eventually sold to the Mecca Cinemas in 1971. But eventually it ran its course in 2003, shutting up shop, lights off, definitely not in Victory. The place was knocked down in 2013 and its questionable owner had since been thrown behind bars. It's fair to say that this place has had a rather colourful history, but the best bit is that it had the cheapest movie tickets in town at $5 a viewing. Definitely a bargain. As we make our way back towards Cogra, let's go through some of the most interesting people who grace this land. Let's start with Steve Smith, former Australian cricket team captain and widely known as one of the best batters in, Australian, in the Australian cricket team, uh, but also marred by the fact that he was also one of the shadiest guys being the man behind the sandpaper gate. We've also got Kenneth Slessor, who's one of Australia's most famous poets, Red Gassner, a rugby league immortal and member of the history-making St George Dragons, and also Clive James, Australian critic and broadcaster. Finally, of course, you've got me, Ricky of I'm Free Tours. Thank you for joining us on a tour of Cogra. I hope you learn a thing or two we start tour again, I look forward to taking you guys around the rocks and learning a little bit about the history of Australia. 
In the meantime, though, feel free to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or all the other social media platforms. I hope to see you soon after coronavirus. Stay safe. See ya.